All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again, boy. I'm telling you the truth. It seems like Jack Smith, all these people on the left, they always go after Mr. Clarence Thomas. They do this all the time. If Donald Trump get a win from the Supreme Court, they go straight at Clarence Thomas every single time. Like, this right here is just pathetic, is that all the time that... They said Donald Trump was taking losses when he was forced to try to pay a half a billion dollars uh, with, from Judge and Gore run. And then you got these other corrupt judges doing all these things to Donald Trump and the left were just throwing a party. They was happy. Every time Donald Trump got attacked, they was happy, making fun of him. And the time he get immunity, they go straight at Clarence Thomas. Just, just, just talking bad about this man and talking about the Supreme Court uh, as a whole as well. Even AOC even threatened the Supreme Court. Now she's walking it back. So we definitely going to get straight into this one right here. It is coming from Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug's channel and uh, hit that subscribe button and let him know in his comment section that I sent you. All right. So without further ado, we definitely going to dive straight into it. Please watch the entire video. I'm telling you. Something towards the end of this video is something that I need everybody to see. I don't want you to miss uh, miss out on it. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this, y'all. Let's go. Did you catch it? Hidden in the Trump versus USA immunity claim, Clarence Th Thomas shots fired way off topic against Garland over his appointment of Jack Smith. Mm -hmm. This is bad news for Jack Smith. Yep. I think uh, Clarence Thomas has telegraphed everything. We're going to go all the way back to 30 years ago today was his Supreme Court nomination. I'm going to show you that footage, something I've never seen before. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the Happy Patriots oh. are. We're huge fans of Clarence Thomas. We are not fans of Jack Smith. Nope. <laughs> That's him thanking George Herbert Walker Bush, G.H.W. Bush. Here's 30 years ago today, President Bush nominated Clarence Thomas to the U.S. Supreme Court. Justice Thomas is an American hero and our greatest justice, as he said 30 years ago today, quote, only in America. You're going to see his humility here. Clarence Thomas cries in this video clip. Watch Thomas's beautiful and heartfelt remarks on July 1st. 1991. As a child, I could not dare dream that I would ever see the Supreme Court, not to mention be nominated to it. Indeed, my most vivid childhood memory of the Supreme Court were the, or was the impeach Earl Warren signs which lined Highway 17 near Savannah. I didn't quite understand who this Earl Warren fellow was, but I knew he was some, in some kind of trouble. That's Clarence Thomas remembering his childhood. If any of you ever want to read a book, read it. My Grandfather's Son by Clarence Thomas. He reads the audio book. It's amazing. He goes into his childhood. This guy came from dirt. No money, freezing to death. He was even an oyster farmer. He would walk out in the mud and try and get oysters just for pennies. He was in, from absolute poverty, absolute zero education. We had people who cared for him. And mm -hmm. that's what made the difference. And I think it is amazing. I love him. Here's uh, Benjamin Weingarten. Justice Thomas launches a legal missile at A.G. Merrick Garland. Woo. What's he talking about here? We're going to read from the actual Supreme Court document. It is difficult to see how the special counsel has an office, quote, established by law as required by the Constitution when the attorney general appointed the special counsel, Jack Smith. He did not identify any statute that clearly creates such an office. See, this goes back to the fourth branch of government that gets yep. removed with Chevron. Mm -hmm. See Department of Justice order, nor did he rely on a state statute granting him the authority to appoint officers as he deems fit, as the heads of some other agencies have. Instead, the Attorney General, Merrick Garland, relied upon several statutes of a general nature. Okay, now we're gonna go, I'm gonna go down to that footnote real quick, just cause it's interesting to me. To be sure, a few presidents have appointed special prosecutors without uh, pointing to any 
express statutory authorization, see okay. General A.T. Eastland, Ethics, Politics, and Independent Counsel. Um, but this court has no occasion to review the constitutionality of those prosecutors' authority. In fact, Congress gave the Attorney General the power to appoint additional officers as he deems necessary, but only for the Bureau of Prisons. As Milt Friedman used to say, ignore everything before the but. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. But special counsels only for the Bureau of Prisons. Back to Clarence Thomas 30 years ago. I thank all of those who have helped me along the way and who helped me to this point and, and this moment in my life, especially my grandparents who are. Especially my grandparents, my mother, and the nuns, all of whom were adamant that I grow up to make something of myself. I'm choking up. I'm choking up. Notice he did not mention on that list of people his dad. He his did. Dad was, he, by the way, he mentions that in his book. You got to read the book. I'm not going to spoil it for you. My grandfather's son. That's why he thanked his grandfather. His grandfather raised him as, as if he was his dad. Okay. None of the statutes cited by the attorney general appear That's to That's the thing. Clarence Thomas is a good person, but the thing is, is just what I kept seeing from CNN, MSNBC, so when they go to the Supreme Court, a whole lot of them were mentioning Clarence Thomas just out of nowhere. They always got to find somebody to blame. They always got to find somebody to blame. I told you, these people cannot stand to see Donald Trump get any type of win. They want to see this man lose whatever it takes to help Joe Biden win a rise in the polls. That's what they want. They don't want Donald Trump getting nothing. But that's the reality right there. They just go to show you, man. Merrick Garland should be in jail, but yet he's still walking around here. They locked Steve Bannon up. But they still letting Merrick Garland run around here. Why isn't Merrick Garland in jail? Why isn't Nancy Pelosi in jail? It is just ridiculous. Create an office for the special counsel, and especially not with the clarity Typical of past statutes used for that purpose. The president is further authorized to direct to mm -hmm. appoint special counsel who have charge and control of the prosecution of such litigation. Section 509 and 510 are generic provisions concerning the functions of the attorney general and his ability to delegate authority to, quote, any other officer, employee, or agency. Basically, the job's too big for Merrick Garland, so he's allowed to appoint sections of it to someone else. It contemplates an attorney specially appointed by the attorney general under law, emphasized, thereby suggesting that such an attorney's office must have already been created by some other law, emphasis added. As for 533, it provides that the attorney general may appoint officials to detect and prosecute crimes against the United States, mm. emphasis added. It is unclear whether an official is, equi is equivalent to an officer as used by the Constitution, uh, uh, considering the meaning of officer regarding this provision would be a curious place for Congress to hide the creation of an office for special counsel. It's placed in a chapter concerning the Federal Bureau of in Investigation, not the separate chapters concerning U.S. attorneys or the now lapsed independent counsel. To be sure, the court gave uh, passing reference to the cited statutes as supporting the appointment of the special prosecutor, Jack Smith, in United States versus Nixon. I'm sorry, not Jack Smith, but the one that went after Nixon back yeah. in 1974. But it provides no analysis of the provision's text. Perhaps there's an answer for why these statutes create an office for the special counsel. We'll start with that but in a second. I also thank my wonderful wife, and my wonderful son. In my view, only in America can this could this have been possible. Only in America, what a great like Clarence Thomas is a great person. How could they just sit there and attack this man? 
I mean, when you when you see stuff like this, man is a great person. Look where he come from. Look how he came up. And you know, and then you get these people on the left just all because they don't like Donald Trump. They want to attack this man as well. It's just nonsense. But like I mentioned before, Mary Garland, Jack Smith, these people should be the one locked up. But they locking up everybody that supports Donald Trump. But like I said before, Mary Garland, Jack Smith, Pelosi, all these people get to hang around, walk around, say whatever they want, commit whatever crime that they want, and nothing happens. Hopefully all that changes. Patriot. I also think it's funny that he brings up Jenny. You know, he drives a Winnebago, uh, a motorhome around the U.S., and goes and parks in camping areas where people don't recognize him. They don't know who he is, and he loves being with the people. In one case, he met a racist who went up to him and just assumed because he was black, he was driving for someone else. And they said, who are you driving for? And he said, oh, Miss Jenny. He's <laughs> talking about his wife. I love it. Uh, prosecution proceeds. We should at least provide a, fu a fulsome explanation of why that is so, even if the special counsel has a valid office. Questions remain as to whether the attorney general filled that office in compliance with the appointments clause. For example, it must be determined whether the special counsel, uh, Jack Smith, is a principal or inferior officer. If the former, his appointment is invalid because the special counsel has not nominated by presidential and confirmed by the Senate. Mm. So he's not, if, so he's a lesser officer, meaning he cannot prosecute as principal uh, officers must be. Even if he's an inferior officer, the attorney general could appoint him without presidential nomination and senatorial confirmation. Only if, quote, Congress by law vests the appointment in the attorney general as a head of department. So the special counsel's appointment is invalid unless a statute created the special counsel's office and gave the attorney general the power to fill it, quote, by law, unquote. This allows the Congress to stay in control of these special prosecutors. Whether the special mm. counsel's office was established by law is not trifling, technically. If Congress has not reached a consensus that a particular office should exist, the executive lacks the power to unilaterally create and then fill that office like they did with Jack Smith. Given that the special counsel purports to wield the executive branch's power to prosecute and consequences are weighty, our Constitution separation of powers including the separation of the powers to create and fill offices is, quote, the absolutely central guarantee of a just government, unquote, and the liberty that it sources for us all. There is no prosecution that can justify imperiling it. That's the clarity. Here's the last clip of Clarence Thomas 30 years ago. I look forward to the confirmation process and an opportunity to be of service once again to my country and to be an example to those who are where I was and to show them that indeed there is hope. Thank you again, Mr. President. Now, there it, yes, indeed there, there is hope. And that hope to get Jack Smith, those wheels started turning 30 years ago with Clarence Thomas's nomination. Little did he know that he was about to go into that uh, committee where Joe Biden nailed him and just persecute him with what Clarence Thomas calls the high tech lynching. I'm done. There you go right there, man. Salute to Clarence Thomas, man. Whether well, another great video by Doug. Like I said before, make sure y'all go leave him a like, go leave him a sub. Uh, the channel will be in the description. Another great video, but it's over with for Jack Smith. I mean, he's done. He's fired. He's done. It's over with for Mary Garland. All this stuff that they getting away with, and laughing about it all that right there is coming to an end it's coming to an end so y'all please let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section and uh i will keep y'all updated as more information comes out about this situation thank you all for watching and i catch y'all in the next one